We're here with Tim from the Uni of New South and he's going to tell us all about Eve. Eve is her name? Yes, it is. It is a she? It is. It, it, it is a she. Who, who decided it was a she? Um, it's kind of the thing that we <laughs> Right, with. and let's go over here and have a look. Tally's, who I used to work for. Um, but let's not go there, yep. And uh, probably Altium sticker on it somewhere, uh, maybe? Definitely somewhere. Who, okay, so I've worked Okay, so I've worked for two companies and I don't know, solar panels all over it. Tell us about the solar panels first. So there's about one kilowatt of solar panels. So what uh, type? They're just uh, plain monocrystalline right. uh, silicon. Yep, so okay. Between the, we've got three strings in yep. the car. Uh, that's just to, because of such an awkward shape with all the curves in order to get the maximum efficiency we have to split yep. it up. Got it. And how did you find the um, curve on the top affected the efficiency while you were driving? It's not good. So for, <laughs> right. um, one of the things that does benefit us is we're part going something called the World Solar Challenge. And that's yep. a race from Darwin to Adelaide. And so if you take a step back, you can see that normally when the um, cells are in the down position, Yep. There's kind of more area on the back. Right, so of course. Which is pointing yep. north when you're going south, so that does help us on the way down. So you deliberately actually go from Darwin south because uh, of that? Is that one of the... Or well, we, we'd like to say that, but it's <laughs> the, the guys who come up with the rules say we're going to go from Darwin to Adelaide. Oh, okay. So we say, right. okay, we'll go to Darwin to Adelaide. And check out the wheels. Can you tell us about the wheels? These would be yeah. super low friction, right? Oh, yeah. So they're about 98% efficient, I want to say. Right, yeah. They're yep. a brushless DC motor originally developed by the CSIRO and now manufactured out of a company called Moran. We've got all sorts of various defense right. contracts and the like. And what affects the efficiency of a wheel like that? Uh, so the biggest thing is we have um, losses in the see, we have inductive losses in the coils. Yep, of course. Uh, so we get around that um, because they're such. I wish I had one to open. I could show you. It's a whole lot of coils. Um, I think 20 poles. And in order to kind of push it up, they don't actually have enough conduction uh, for the motor controllers. Right. We actually have these boxes which do nothing else yep. than just provide that little bit of extra load. And so at low um, speeds, that becomes quite an issue. Right. And what, what, what have we got here? So those are, are our these? motor controllers. They're made by a company called Tritium, based out in Queensland. Right. And they do mostly, uh, they've kind of got two businesses. One is us, so solar car mm -hmm. products, and they are doing a lot of electric vehicle things now. So these guys take the 150 or so volts DC from the battery, yep. uh, invert it to um, drive our motors. And look, you've got space for luggage. Oh yes. <laughs> luggage so. space. So do you actually take your own bit? You would have a, a car follow you, right? Oh, we have a with, entire fleet. An, an entire fleet. And this is one of the battery packs, is it? Yep, so this is three of our Tell battery Tell us modules. about the battery. They're NCR 18650, so they're manufactured by Panasonic, Panasonic cells. And yep. These are actually from our 2013 battery pack. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so this is not the recent one. Is it? No. In, is, has it improved? I see a temperature sensor there. Yep. So we, these yeah. uh, in between. Since this battery was manufactured, I think they came out of the 186015BFs. Right. Uh, so they're slightly, have a slightly higher capacity and they're painted red instead. And right. so we built a battery pack much the same. So yep. It's actually, these are actually gold-plated PCBs. Yep. And so we've soldered nickel strips onto the back of them and then welded it into nice. make these modules. So Got there's it. about 30, I want to say 35, I believe. Don't quote me. 35 of these in, oh, cells in, in, in each one. In parallel. Yep. And then we have, I think, 36 in series. Right. So and do you have to get those as matched types from the same batch or something yes. like that? Or Yeah, right. so we're trying yep. to get them all entirely the same. Yep. Okay. So it's actually a big challenge in this year's race as we were driving um, into our springs. Mm -hmm. the, uh, well, the way the race works is you get two charges, two charges, one at the beginning in Darwin and yep. one halfway down to Alice Springs. And so we're about four o'clock on, I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday evening, <laughs> and we're driving in and we're monitoring the charge state on our batteries. And if you have a big series pack, uh, it's very important that you keep all the cells roughly the same voltage. Mm -hmm. Um, and as we were coming into Alice Springs, we noticed that look, getting quite close to the bottom because we're trying to discharge, get as much energy out before we yep. charge again. And one set of cells 
had actually discharged a good 0.2 or 0.3 volts more than the other ones. Right. Which ordinarily isn't a problem, but we're running them right down to the bottom. Oh, so nasty, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Safety problems. Yep. And so, as I want to say, I think 50 k's out from Alice Springs, so we made the call, <laughs> I was like, we can't push this any lower, we're right. going to have to stop and have a look. And so, we opened up the battery, and luckily for us, um, it was one of the modules that was at the very front. Oh, so you way, could access it, right? Yeah, so the way that yeah, usually yeah. is about seven or eight yep. of these in. Oh, long. right, yeah. And so it was the one at the very front <laughs> that was gone. So yep. in about 10 minutes, we got soaring irons out. And oh, and so you just, uh, just disabled it. Right, just bypassed it. Nice. And you just kept on going. Yeah, kept on going and, and you made it in right at sunset. And you won. Oh, well, well kind of. How does it work? So it, we. This is a Challenger class, sorry, a Cruiser class car. Um, the difference being a conventional, for the past 20 years, solar cars have kind of been solar cells on a wing with the little bubbles on the driver. <laughs> yeah, right. This is the idea of this kind of competition is to make something look a lot more like a car. So there's mm -hmm. two main components, one of which is the actual race, so how fast you're going down the left, and the other is kind of how cool it is. <laughs> how cool, <laughs> cool it is, all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, came third across the line. Yep. Uh, but unfortunately we lost out on points this year and came uh, right. fourth overall. Okay. But this did hold the world record at one point, oh, did yes. it not? So yes. It is a solar car, but it holds yep. the world record for the uh, fastest electric car over 500 kilometers. Yep. Um, so it sat at about 100 and I want to say eight or nine. Nice. Or uh, 500 Ks. Wow. One day. Yep. That's impressive. And can you show us the front, the oh, yes. stereo? Yes, let's go inside. So we've got yep. lots of LEDs as anything. Oh things. yeah, and to hop in you might have to take the steering wheel out, right? Is that yes. the, yeah? yeah, so it's a All right. bit of a tight squeeze. And you've got racing seats and everything, look at this. Yeah. We're very proud of the... Uh, yeah, the oh the yeah, Sunswift, yeah, you've got your own Sunswift logo on there. And tell us about the dash here. There we you go, oh, have have a look oh there we go. Back of it, so you can see it's just a uh, PCB with a whole lot of LEDs for the perfect yep. place. And it's all powered and talks to one connector. Right. So that's uh, a can line that runs throughout the entire car. So yep. everything that happens gets put on that and this guy just listens to all the messages and displays it as it needs to be. Right. I should be able to yep. change gears for you. Normally what we do we are uh, fortunately we don't actually have the big battery pack in the car, so it's right. not gonna okay. but you can see that's Sweet, and things. you're you're using that that knob there yeah, to change the knob. yeah yeah. And you've got it in k's an hour. You should have done in miles an hour and added 88. <laughs> so that's Eve 2015. Yes, is the VIN number. Yes, so this and, car uh, actually raced in yep. 2013 as well. Right. Okay. Um, that year it did come actually first across the line. Right. Did again, lose out on the point system. Uh, since this, for the 2015 race, we redid the entire interior electronics suspension. Right. Mm. So it's all. What's the weight? How much does it weigh? This it weighs down to 300 kilos. 300. Before you start yep. adding things, yep. annoying things like the driver. And the driver, yeah. Uh, so do you have to choose? So do you have to choose the skinniest, weediest driver you can find? Unfortunately, <laughs> the rules dictate that the driver weighs 80 kilos. And they must weigh 80. So so, so you, you have to get a pretty solid person to. Well, so you can get anyone that you want, and then you put sandbags in as well. And uh, oh, key site sponsors as well. Yes. And uh, here you go. How it's aerodynamically was it tested in like a wind tunnel or anything like that? Or it was mostly modeled? done on simulations, uh, mostly simulation. Yep, quite ugly uh, cutouts of the headlights at the moment. <laughs> yeah, <because> for <laughs> if you want to try, we're trying still in the process of trying to register this as a road legal car. I was gonna say, what do you have to go through to get it road legal? A lot, <laughs> a lot. I was going like, so one of the, <laughs> yeah, so we had to usually there's a nice polycarbonate, yep, curve shield, but that's. Mm -hmm. Not acceptable if you want to drive on the road. So right, of course. Off. You can also see this the windscreen is a little bit awkward. Yep. We used to have, again have a nice polycarbonate right. windscreen, but there is no way to get that registered at all. So we had to actually get this cut out and add a proper glass windscreen. So how did you drive it on the road? Do the competition get special? Uh, yeah. So the competition gets right. They a special get special permit. special permit for the contest and. and uh, but, but you have to share the road, right? You've got to oh, yes. share the road with others. We've got these um, little 300 kilo cars sharing yeah, the road yeah. with 100 ton road trains. <laughs> 100 ton road trains, great. Right. And what's the energy consumption over here? It's got the energy consumption sticker. 
115 watt hours per kilometre. Zero CO2. Yeah, it's here, of course. Well, it depends where your charge of battery is from. Yeah. Oh, no, it's solar. Charge off yeah. Uh, so, how does it work? Are you allowed, when you start, are you allowed to pre charge your pack started? Yeah, uh, so, you so fully the, charged. You start with a fully charged battery pack. Right. And then you can charge again once in Alice Springs. And so, that's, that's what I was saying before. We we're coming in and Got running it. out of charge. Yep. Uh, other than that, it's entirely off the sun. <laughs> And is there, is there any uh, limits to how much how much battery capacity you can put into it? Or yep, for different types of cells, you right. can have different limits. And in our case, we use those lithium ion cells, and that's got a limit of only 60 kilograms. Uh, in in terms of the rules, so yes, six, yes, is, 60 kilograms right is the maximum pack you can have. Yeah, right. That worked out to be about 50 kilowatt hours. Oh, okay. Got it. And was there a maximum number of cell, like a solar capacity you could put on it or um, for, something yeah, like that? There are two main types of cell, which is silicon, um, you can have I believe, up to six meters squared. Yep. And then gallium, you can have up to uh, three. Okay. And so, uh, unfortunately, if you can, we can't afford gallium cells. So yep, yep. We've got. Uh, how much? What, what? How much more expensive are gallium cells compared to these? If we wanted to put gallium cells on the car we pretty much have to pay everything again so oh right then okay. it's, <laughs> it's they're very they use on the uh things like this iss yep for a very good reason yeah, yeah of but course of course want solar cells anywhere else it's yep. silicon. no worries all right thank you very much tim that is awesome Excellent, and you're building a new one at the moment. Yes, we're designing the car for the 2017 race at the moment. Fantastic. Well, I'll have to come visit. Definitely. Excellent. Right. Fantastic. Thanks, Tim. No